she's probably worried about Jessica. Jessica. She's my only concern. Thank you. Number well, before I, so number one, like it or not? Yep, like it. I liked it. Liked it. Not very enthusiastic at that number one. And their yeah. whites are amazing. Yeah. I should have done a white, but I That's couldn't okay. do that blonde. And I and no, no, I didn't. You're coming. Totally responding. Pass your points. I know. This is Alfred. Yeah, the glasses are right here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jean-Luc Dudet, um, who used to be the sommelier at, at Daniel, right? And, and he goes in with pictures of his horse, and Jean-Luc said, I'm, I'm sick and tired of these people coming in with pictures of their horse. You know, it's such a marketing thing. Well, the guy's been working with a horse for about 12 years, and he loves his horse. So he brought it in, and his name is, the wine is Fundy Dicto, and it's there's no wood on it at all. It's all tank. Hmm. Um, and it's 2005, and it's all Carignan. And the reason it's rich is because it should be rich. It's from the south where it's really hot, <laughs> from you know, clay soils. And it should be rich. And it, uh, you might have a different opinion with that one, depending on what food you have. Yes. So there you go. The man with the horse. <laughs> OK, number three. Number three is, I think that the, the room was split on number three. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Now, number three is when I, the one that when I come back from California or drinking a lot of bad wines, <laughs> not necessarily <laughs> California, but I just need to have this one. And it's from, I think, at this point, probably 110 year old vines um, in the Turin. And to me, it's it's always been like just drinking through a violet chop straw. And it's the absence of fruit. And it's why I love it. It's like there is no, just it's the absence of fruit. And it is the antidote. Um, really plays heavily in. Chapter nine. Let's see. Number four. I guess we're in the whole the war zone here, which is where the revolution is. By the way, so number four. Like it? Yes, now. Like it better than number three? Yes. I like yes. number three. You know what? You all of you are going to love number three. You are going to just love number three. It's just going to. <laughs> so number four is uh, the Bretons, Louis de Bresse, mm -hmm. which is their practically, well, it's actually, there's no sulfur in this. They don't really have, so they say, I think they spritzed a little bit for the export market, but they supposedly made this so they could just drink and not have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their marriage is talked about as much as their wine making. Oh. And people like to watch their marriage a lot. They go on and off and on and off. <laughs> <laughs> I hint about that in the book, but I didn't really come out and say it. <laughs> Number five is another Cabernet from from uh, another another.
another passionate non sulfur guy. And both of these are up here at the scene. And this is Olivier Cousin. He's another guy with a, with a horse. His horse is Joker. <laughs> and it, Breton is the old name for Cabernet Franc in the world. And now, I talk about wines that don't have sulfur as having puppy breath. <laughs> and this one usually has puppy breath, and I'm not getting it tonight. <laughs> mm. Anybody? Don't? It's probably a little stinkier. A little <laughs> stinkier. <laughs> this guy. The number five. Mm -hmm. oh, I have one this one. Okay, you have another flight to go to. <laughs> All right. And I'll talk about puppy breath. Which, do you know about puppy breath? I don't know about puppy breath. What do you think? No puppy breath, but I love it. 